if we take a break. So we're going to go ahead and bring our arms up towards the sky. Use your forearms. Right? Press it down nice and low. Come through our sumo squat. So we keep that nice tension on the swing. Good job. And then arms come out. Don't forget to take them out. <laughs> OK, sumo squat is with the feet at 45 degrees, knees nice and wide. And then we always stay hugging. Right? We want to hug the swing through all the poses. So we're going to grab the leg loop with both hands, and we're going to practice a little bit more core strengthening. So let's all start with the left, and just to be consistent. Okay, sometimes it feels like we want to go like this, but then we'll lose our hook. So we hug outside in, grab the leg loop with both hands. And what we want to do is we want to try like karate chopping our foot up there. <laughs> so just try it. See if you can get your foot into the leg loop. I can always bring them down for you if you need. Yeah. So go ahead and bring her leg loops down one. They're a little bit high. And then once we get one foot in, we're going to slide it up to the knee. Really good. And then we're going to get the other side in. Okay. So bring that down even one more, okay? Mm -hmm. It'll be easier to bring it down one more. Great. So use your core. Okay. hi -ya. Get your foot up there. It's a little much. And then we can... Okay, so the, so the leg loops can be low or a little higher depending on your personal preference. Like my leg loops are a little low right now, so I could bring them up one, but I wouldn't bring them down any further. Okay, there you go. You got it. Did it. Nice. That looks good. So we drop our hips, we open our heart, and then we relax our head back. So this is the full chillaxing pose, isn't this yummy? It's like, mmm, ah, oh. <laughs> all our sound effects. So in chillaxin, the idea is we're in a supported back bend. We have our elbows flaring out wide as long as the shoulders are happy in order to open the heart. And then we let our hips drop so we get that nice long spine in, in the lower back. Yeah, so the hips can drop even more. And then can the sternum lift as the hips drop? So you have two opposing directions, two clarities in the body. Beautiful, guys. That looks great. All right, let's come to center. Let's inhale, open the arms up wide for a T, and then exhale, just hug in. So this is a floating child. In our floating child, we can round our back and just rest our head on our hands. Whenever you need a break, this is a great place to hang out. Okay? So we're going to inhale, blossom one more time. This time it's called a star position. We Lengthen the legs, we lengthen the arms. You can do a little jazz hands here, superstar. Shake, shake, shake. So see if you can drop, drop your hips as much as possible. Drop us down the other way. Yeah, drop, drop, drop. And then open just the heart, isolate the heart. Yes, beautiful. And then we're gonna bring the hands to prayer, bring the legs together. Okay, so we wrap around the sky. And squeeze the legs, push the hips towards the sky and lean back. This is called a reverse namaste. Feel really, really good. And then exhale, sink down, sink down, and open up. All right, very good. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, T. Exhale, child. Float, and round in. Stay here and pause anytime you feel like you need. If you're ready, inhale, blossom for star. Long arms, long legs, hips heavy, heart open. Beautiful, guys. And then. Squeeze the legs together, bring the hands to prayer, down the swing, push up, hips towards the sky, lean back, reverse namaste. This should feel really good on the neck and shoulders. Beautiful. Exhale, sink the hips down, and inhale, open it up. Feel pretty good? So that's our half chill flow. We're going to add on to that sequence. Go ahead and clasp your hands behind your head. So to swag, we push one knee down and then the other knee down. And then we have a lot of play from side to side. So since we have plenty of room, go ahead and come into your fullest expression. Maybe you extend your leg. Maybe the arms want to play in the space. Carrie, I'd love it if you'd take some pictures for me. <laughs> Just go ahead and explore and play. In fact, I'll take some pictures of you guys from this angle. So well, this is right. amazing. <laughs> Are you guys bumping into each other? No, I'm back to help you guys are it's perfect, so I just want to <laughs> grab a few shots of you guys, if you don't mind, because you look so amazing. <laughs> the action shots. I feel like it's fun. I Good! Know. That's what she wants right? to do. That's, That's what we want. Yes. Go, Jenna, look towards me. Looks 
Let me come around. Thank you. Really nice. So the whole idea is that we awaken the courageous inner child in the practice, right? So we want to feel like we're floating and we're flying and we're playing. And this whole time that we're swaggering, <laughs> we're actually stretching the connective tissue and opening all that stickiness that lives in the side body. Right? All that fascia that is the overlay or the sheath where the muscles start to open up. And all we're doing is hanging out. Right? All we're doing is playing. It's really big. All right, so we're going to use our momentum to get the right foot on top of the left knee. So we're going to come into a floating pigeon pose. So in our pigeon pose, we're going to sit down into it. So push the hips down, but still open the heart. So can you find that dynamic movement, you know, that polarity of tractioning the front of the spine open? Now, if this feels good, you can wag the tail, which means that left foot is just exploring in the space. It's just kind of working its way from side to side and starting to open up. You'll notice that when you twist in the hips with that foot moving, it feels different. Right, you get a different stretch with that foot exploring in the space. And then let's try another floating child's pose. Open the arms wide. Make sure the swing's nice and low, because if you start out with it high, then it's just going to pinch the underarm. So go ahead and hug in. So the more you hug in, the deeper the stretch. So find that place that feels just right for you today. Don't make it too intense. Just right, yeah? So go ahead and blossom. So it's almost like a star. It's like a mini star here. And then one more time, hug in. Hug in and squeeze. Beautiful, guys. So we're going to stay here. Let's go ahead and use our left hand to hold on to the foot, to the right foot, and then slide up. Once we get to the top of the leg loop, we're going to do a twist. So can you hold on to both sides of the leg loop? You were fine, but it's just that it gives you a little bit more pull. And then extend through the left toes and the right fingertips. There you go. You can even link up with one another <laughs> if you'd like. Nice. So uh, instead of pouring back, I want you to be into the side plane. Yeah, and come into a side body twist. Nice. Really good. All right, go ahead and unfurl. Come through our chillax and pose. Neutralize the spine. Let it feel good. Just to give you guys a sense of the flow, we're going to have like another 30 minutes of activity of exploring and trying new things, and then we're going to have a nice long shavasana. So you're going to get a big rest in the cocooning. Stick with it for another 30, 35 minutes. So we're going to get the left foot on top. Yeah, good job. Just use your momentum to get it up there. Or a little assistance is fine. And then once we're here, you can stay in your chillaxing pose. Let the right foot explore in the space. Let your head lean back and your heart open. So this would be the easy breezy method, right? So restorative hip opener. Not too much, just right. And then if we wanted to go deeper, we're going to inhale, open up the arms, and then hug. When we hug in, you're going to strengthen the pose. So the more you pull, the deeper the stretch. So you decide how far you want to go for today. Beautiful, guys. And then go ahead and blossom. So it's like a mini star. Let's let the arms expand and stretch out. And then exhale one more time. Round them and fold. Pause here. So it should feel really good to open up that side of the hip. So just for fun, I want you to try to wiggle here. What would it feel like to push one hip down and then the other hip down? I do a lot of wiggling in the swing, you probably notice. <laughs> it definitely helps to deepen the stretch sometimes. Okay, beautiful. So as we unfurl, my right hand is going to grab the left foot and then I slide up until I find the diagonal. So it's going to be, yeah, find the diagonal, reach up as high as you can, and then see if you can stretch and extend through the right toes and left fingertips. So pour into the side plane of the body. So we could lean back, but what happens if we come um, left side of the ribs pours down towards the ground? Yes, like that. Beautiful. So we're pulling the knee in, and then we're dropping the hip, and then we get an even deeper stretch on the diagonal. Beautiful. <sighs> Take a breath into that spaciousness, and then slowly release. We're going to unfurl, come right back through, arch relax in, sway it out. Just 
pass the palm. Up. Maybe you play even more and see if you can extend can the arms and legs and get some big momentum in the in the spins, the spirals, and maybe you take it nice and slow. Slow jams. See whatever move you're in for. Alright, let's go through our vinyasa flow one more time. We're coming back to neutral. Ah, sink up, inhale to the arms. Exhale, round in, child. Inhale, blossom for star. You guys got it. Open the heart. This time we're going to squeeze the legs together. Hi. Whoops. <laughs> Bring the hands to prayer. Push the hips to, uh, towards the sky and let's hang out here. So this might be as far as you want to go or hold on to the swing. So when you hold on to the swing, you're going to start to let it stretch down into the waist, right? You can just wiggle a little from side to side too if that feels good. So once the swing feels like it's right above the hips, you're going to swim your arms up overhead for ladle. When your arms go up overhead, bend your knees. So all of a sudden we look like we're in a bell pose, right? So an upside down bell, of course, but go ahead and reach back for your ankles. If you feel like a back bend, is available for you today. Now, if you don't want to come fully into the bell, you can just reach back for your ankles so they don't have to touch. Okay? And it's a big pose. This is as far as we're going to go for today. So, hang out. More deep breaths. Beautiful. Inhale, release the ankles. Reach up for the swing. Exhale, sink the hips down and lift the head at the same time. Woo, we get a big head rush, right? Oh, let's just take a moment to chill and let that happen. So that is our chill flow. We're going to go over it one more time. And I want you guys, does anybody want assistance in a back bend? You want it, you're good? You don't have to go any deeper. Everybody good? Because we have, we have buddies here that can help you. So just go as far as you want. That was great holding on if you don't want to go any further. One more full flow, okay? Inhale, T. Exhale, child. Inhale, blossom for star. Exhale, squeeze for namaste. Reverse it. Hold on here. Just reach up and grab for the swing. Shimmy it into the waist. The more you lean back with your head, it'll slide down if you have the right clothes on. Okay, so swim your arms down and overhead for ladle. You can keep holding on to the swing if you feel like that's as far as you want to go. If you swim your arms overhead, bend your knees, and then from the knees bent, go ahead and reach back and grab for the ankles. So for the full bow pose, you push your hips towards the sky, pull your feet away from your heart, and stretch, stretch, stretch through the arms. Go ahead and release, reach up and grab for the swing. Inhale, lift the head, exhale, lower the hips, see if you can Yes, really good. Find that combination that's called leveraging, pivoting the energy. So what we're doing, just to give you guys a little acclimation time, is we're opening up the whole front of the spine. And this is the pathway for the endocrine system. So they're all the glands that control the energy managers of the body, as well as overlay the chakra system. So even if you don't know what a chakra is, it doesn't matter. But those also relate to the energy centers. And if you feel like you got a big heat wave or a full body sweat or a feeling of nausea or any sort of dramatic reaction in the body, that's the endocrine system kind of like quickly getting a boost and getting turned on. And that's actually really, really good for you, even though it can feel very intense, like you get that big wave of energy. Okay, as we're getting that heat and that yang shakti happening in the body from back bends. And the lower back should feel supported and feel like you have some spaciousness there to open up and operate from the upper thoracic spine. Okay, so just keep practicing that and it'll get easier with time, but that's like the full flow that I wanted to show you guys for today. Now we're gonna come through center. Is everybody okay with the swing behind them? Can we last for another five minutes? And then I'll, I'll give, our, we'll give ourselves a break. Okay, I wanted to bring you through our skydiver sequence, which is really fun. We have to skydive while we're here, right? So we're going to reach for our knees and then slide up onto our leg loops as high as possible. Okay, so I'm going to bring you through high diver first. So everyone come to stand. So let the leg loops slide all the way up. So feet down. Yeah. If, if you have uh, the right clothes on, they slide up. Otherwise, just negotiate with them all the way up. 
into the, the hip creases. Okay, walk your feet towards the, the front of the mat. So in the high diver position, what we're gonna do is keep our arms around the swing. So hold on to the swing, lean back a little so you can see the difference. So these are the leg loops. Oops, goodness, I think we all got it now. Okay, good. So what's really great about this position is when we bring our hands to prayer, we can push the leg loops away and this helps us bring our heart forward. Just try that first part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna do this with the leg loops further onto our knees, but let me show you here in case it just feels like it's too much for the hips. Let's try it one more time, so come on back. So we're gonna try and merge these um, leg and arm positions together. Hands to prayer. Let us pray, it all goes well. Push the arms straight <laughs> forward, and then we bring our legs around. Ta-da! I know, right? Wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle yourself forward and back, right? So toes could touch down, which is fine. And then can we press our hands forward? Notice with straight arms, if we press forward, it lifts, yes, it lifts our chest. It's a little bit more intense here, but this is our skydiver, okay? Thumbs up, cool Jesus, awesome. Okay, now we bend in. We're gonna go flying butterfly from here. We bend in, we can, now we can drop our chest, let our head, our head and heart hang. And then we can lift our legs and bring the bottoms of the feet together. Knees open wide. Yes, bottoms of the feet together. A little intense on the hip flexors, but just see if you can do a little banking from side to side. Let the front of the body open. It's a nice way to just kind of hang out and let the body stretch without any tension. Okay, so even though we're engaged with our arms, where can we relax? Find that balance between engage but relax. Okay, so come out of it. I'm sure you were wondering. Bring our feet down, bring them wide onto the center and the outside of the mat. Really good. So you use your core there. Okay, we're going to use our arms to lift. Oh, you might get a little head rush. Yeah, sink the hips back, lift up. Just take a moment to pause. We're going to try that again, but with the leg lifts of the knees. Feel free to do our high flyer anytime, high diver. High lift. So I push the leg loops away, and I lift my knees, and it's going to slide in. So I get a little tractioning, a little massaging down the legs, too, while we're there. Okay, great. So keep holding on to the leg loops. Hold on to your knees. And slide out. There you go. That's how we know. Sometimes we do this, and we forget, and it's okay. All right, one more time. So first, we'll do a hummingbird. So, um, so we're going to bicep curl up. See if that is comfortable, bicep curl up. Sometimes it's a little much to open up the hips that much, but just see, you can always put the feet down and cheat a little. If it, yeah, if it's too much, there we go. It's kind of like a sumo. And then go ahead and round in for floating childs. Bicep curl up. It's okay to use your feet if you need to. There you go. It's always good to have a little cheater. And then go ahead and round in. So we're just warming up the hips. Bicep curl up. Now if it's comfortable, I want you to extend your arms. Extend your arms. Beautiful. So now we're in our skydiver again, right? We did it. We made it. It's a little intense on the legs. Let's see if you can uh, hang out for a minute. Flying butterfly. Just fall into the elbow creases. There you go. Feet together. Knees open wide. Beautiful. Now this is a little bit more intense than our high diver, right? You're like, oh my god, I'm making a wish. <laughs> okay. That's why we prayed first. <laughs> All right, so if you're wondering how to get out of this, let me show you. So we can sink the hips back, pull the feet down towards the ground, engage your arms, and then you'll land it in your chillaxin. Let me show you how to spread out sort of little wings here. Sp spread out our wings so that the leg loop will cover from the groin to the knee. So spread them out as much as you can. If they get twisted, you're going to have to unfurl them. So it's like a taco. Make sure you have the leg loop spread out on the inside of the taco. There's like an inside and outside. Yeah, you got it. So your other one's on the inside if you can change it. See what I mean? It doesn't matter too much. It's just the particularities. What? All right, cool. This will feel way better. You're like, why didn't you show us this from the beginning? But you know, we have to try all kinds. Okay, so with these spread out, we're gonna reach forward for the leg loop as high as we can and pull ourselves forward. All right, then let's see if we can get our arms in front, but keep it around, yeah, keep it around the swing and in front. Good. And then when we lean forward, we have our feet coming together. Mm -hmm. First two, yeah, exactly. You're going to have to negotiate with them. Push your hips towards the ground, and then it'll, yeah, there you go. You might wind up in your high diver, but that's okay. 
and then bend your elbows. The idea is it's supposed to be more comfortable. <laughs> Try bringing the feet together back there. Thank you. Push your hips towards the ground. Yes, there you go. It's okay. But so if you slide up, kind of slide up evenly if that's a possibility. Yeah, yeah. Just keep them even. Perfect. That's better. Okay, beautiful guys. So to come out, let's try it one more time. Pull your feet down towards the earth. Sink your hips back. Lose your arms. There you go. Can always walk it out. <laughs> if you wound up in high diver, you have to use the ground. Okay. So the key is, is keep them spread out as much as possible. Sometimes you just have to use magic. Mine always stay. I don't know why. So let's hold on to the top. So this is called the nub. This is the scientific term for where the fabric meets the webbing. Let's go ahead and bend the right knee and roll it to the top of the left thigh. So now we're lounging. It's okay to keep the foot down back there too. Yes, you can kind of help open up that way. But shift onto the top of that left thigh. Just shimmy your hips square to the ground. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. You can float if you can, if you want to float. Very good. So this is our lounging poses. So your arms are wrapped around the swing and you hold on to the leg loops. Arms stay wrapped around always. Yeah, there you go. All right, shift on back. We do a little roundabout. Second side. Okay, if you can keep them spread out, they tend to be more comfortable. If they bunch up, no problem. Okay, a couple just options. So I, I make these swings. I might have mentioned it. I love them. You know, I made everything really thick and stretchy and also expandable for people who have sensitivities. They don't like all that pressure on the skin. So until you get used to it, you can kind of spread it out. Okay. Yeah, so you can ground it on. You're staying up here. Good. Okay. So we're going to come back through center. This one's a little bit hard. So let's go ahead and push the leg loops at our knees. And then we're going to lift up and come into a hummingbird, which is straight arms, straight legs. Just try it. This would be more of a dynamic strengthening. Yeah, straight up <laughs> down. I know. Where you're going to fly away. <laughs> It is really hard, so only do it if it feels good. And then let's sit back down. Oh, all right, chillax in. See, this is why we like the chillax in pose. It's like, woo, after we work, we bring it back down. And obviously, if you bring the leg loops down, it's a little bit easier because you can ground it. If you want to make it a little harder, you can bring the leg loops up. Either way, is 100% okay. Just personal preference, or maybe even just that day. Okay, good. Let's work through our dancing Shiva sequence, and then we're going to move into just a few minutes of some more hip, open, hip openers and leg stretches, and then we'll have a nice lunch basana. You guys doing good so far? You guys are feeling the underarms, so if that happens, go ahead and just lean back and give it a little break. I'll show you how to come into our cocoon from here if you wanted an early break. All right, so we're going to reach forward for our knees and then slide up, right? So we're going to Come into our lounging position. Try it bunched up. If you don't like it bunched up, you can always spread it out again. So right knee bends, roll onto the top of the left thigh. Mm -hmm. There you go. Perfect. That's fine. Walk your foot forward. There it is. If you want to ground. If you're tucked in, that's okay. Yeah, tuck in. Okay, bend the back leg. When you bend the back leg, see if you can grab for the foot. Mm -hmm. See if that's available. It's a quad stretch. Mm -hmm. Let the leg loop be closer to your knee, so it's supporting the thigh. Just push it down. Yeah, like that. There you go. <laughs> there it is. Now, if you can grab the foot, I know it seems really it's far away. It does. <laughs> it's all right. You can Do you virtually. Grab the from the outside the other side. Yeah. From the back. There it is. Okay. There it is. Now, if anybody's super flexy and wants to try the elbow crease, that's available. So this is the dancing Shiva. We don't get extra gold stars today. I'm sorry. It's just for fun. <laughs> Okay, now if anybody wants to get super fancy, only try it if you're feeling fancy, but you can grab for the front toes. This is called Hanuman. Split. I know, it seems really, really far. Okay, let's go ahead and release it, relax, round about, relax for a moment, and then we'll come into second side. So this would be the most, so everything like builds on itself, so you can tell these are the more advanced poses. Not for everybody, but anybody can lounge, right? And then from lounging, we build on, on grab the, for the leg loops instead of the swing. Shift on top of the right thigh and stay here. Maybe this is as far as we want to go for today. Okay, just make sure that hip is pointing towards the ground a little bit more. There you go. Mm -hmm. now if you want to float a little bit more, you have to bend the right knee and grab for the foot. 
So this is a quad opener as well as a shoulder stretch. I'm sure you guys feel it. <laughs> and then from there, if you want, you can actually get the foot um, in the elbow crease. Pull in. There you go. <laughs> Hi yeah, <laughs> that works. Just kick it. Yeah, you got it. That was a good catch. <laughs> and then for anybody who wants to try Hanuman, which is hard, which is really hard, you can go ahead. Can you bend your knee for one more minute so I can get the video? That's all right. Just for a moment, and then all right, release, release. Let's go ahead and relax it. Woo! Really nice, guys. All right, so we're going to have a little bit of playtime before we get into the hip stretches. We'll do some things from the ground, too. Okay, so this is called the seesaw. We're going to go ahead and grab for the leg loops. Okay. One last time. We bend the right knee and get on top of the left thigh. So if we were going to do a bow and arrow, we can like push the front one forward, like, pew, right? Like we're shooting an arrow. There we go. And then if we want to shoot through the back leg, yep, and you straighten the back arm. Now we can go back and forth to straighten the front, and then straighten the back, and then see if we can get into a little rhythm with the seesaw, and all of a sudden we can sway from side to side. Isn't that fun? Nice. Let's go ahead and round about. Just the little micro movements are good too. Let's come into our lounging. Maybe our lounging is enough. And then we're going to go ahead and push the front, front arm forward. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and push the back arm straight. And then we can alternate front and back. We're going to kind of time it to get into the sway. Isn't that fun? <laughs> this is great for performances, in case anybody feels like doing a performance out here. We have to kind of keep it mellow since the ceiling's like, hey, 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 wait a minute. That's as far as you have four inches on the inside. But it's okay. It just makes noise. It's just talking to us. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and pull ourselves back up into the high diver and take a little break. Oh, my God. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake, shake, shake. So you'll feel these two hubs of the body starting to talk to us. And so if you ever do need a break, let's go ahead and get um, a little sample, a little... Um, super surprise for the cocooning. So we're going to pull down to so separate the swing so you can pull down the front end and get in. So it, everything spreads out. So make sure you're getting on the inside of your taco. You see what I mean? There's like a taco. There's an inside and an outside. Yeah, get on the inside of your taco. There you go. Yeah, slide it down into your bum. Make sure you get enough in there. That looks great that you can sit down. Once you sit down, push your leg loops back down to your knees. Mm hmm. Good job. Very nice. I know. Yay. So we're not quite ready for our final relaxation, but I wanted to give you a little taste in case you were like, oh, this is nice. I'll just stay here. Let's go to the hips. Go ahead and stretch the back of the swing up so it's above your head so you can lean back. And now, like we were spreading the legs out before, you can stretch them from the arches of the feet all the way to the back of the knees. Okay, is that nice? Everybody have enough of your bum in there? You don't feel like you're falling out? You good? Yep, that's pretty good. Yay, all right, so let's do a little windshield wipering. We're just gonna let our legs sway from side to side. Maybe you can hug your arms over your chest or you can let them sit on your lap. I like my arms over my head with my elbows bent. It just feels good to stretch the shoulders out. Here you go. I guess let yourself explore in the space. I think we fit all perfectly, but just sync up with your neighbor. If fish can do it, we can do it. <laughs> so we'll learn how to synchronize swim. It feels nice to have so much space, huh? So good in here. Beautiful, guys. So whenever we need a rest, cocooning is a great option. I was showing you how you can rest in chillaxin or rest in, in the floating childs, but the cocooning is kind of like an early shavasana position where we can just hang. Now from here, we're going to transition and do some of the leg stretches, but you 100% have my full permission to relax and cocoon whenever you need, okay? So we're going to do about another 15 minutes, about another 12 minutes of active, and then we're all going to get into the cocoon for a nice long shavasana. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. All right, great.
So this is going to be our transition. It's going to be super sweet. We're going to try hammock pose. So you guys can all kind of see me? Good? Yeah? You can just take a peek. There we go. All right. So let's all take our left leg and leave it in the leg loop. Our right leg is going to come out and cross over the left. So both legs in the left one. And then we just release the, the right leg loop. Just let it hang. Beautiful. So this is called hammock pose. This is a really good one for relaxing and also opening the heart. So we're all going to blossom out the back. So we bring our arms up overhead and then get your shoulders out. Just underneath the arms again with the, with the swing. Really good. And then our extra leg loop here. Identify your right leg loop. If, look up. Make sure it's not twisted around the Caribbean or I just want to like curl it through and feel really good. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is put it behind our head. And like a t-shirt, we put it underneath the arms. So one arm and then the other arm, so it's doubled up underneath the armpits. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and clasp our hands behind the back of the neck one more time to relax the arms. If for any reason your shoulders feel like they're a bit overextended, you can pull the elbows in, but clearing the elbows out is also really nice. And then I want you to just push down with your feet to lift your hips slightly and lean back into it. Yeah, so it's like you're going to be in a plank position, but if you want to keep your hips heavy, it's okay. Just where you engage through the lower body. And then the upper body is just hanging out. Beautiful, guys. Doesn't that feel amazing? Okay, a little hammock pose. It's also nice to do a little fishtailing from side to side. Carrie, can you take some more pictures for me? So we just gently rock from side to side, adding a little space in the side body. And then if you like leaning back, you can actually open up your arms. Your palms are going to be facing the sky. Oh, you can go deeper into a back bend. The swing is going to slide in, but it's, you're not going to fall out. It's just going to kind of, you, know, you guys can link up like Legos over there if you're okay with it. And you just see if you can open up the chest. We're going to reach up, grab for the top of the leg loop, and I'm going to take my left leg and I'm just going to come into a twist. Just playing with twisting here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. So we're holding on. We're not going to go too far. That's great, guys. And then we're going to return that leg and <laughs> put it back in. Let's go ahead and open up with the right leg and twist. Oh, yeah. Twist. Maybe we want to release the left arm down. And then maybe we even want to grab for the foot. Maybe. <laughs> All right. So we come back up. Really nice. Cross the legs again. And then make sure the swing's underneath you. We can actually bunch it up under our back, but it's nice that we're sitting in it, right? So if you kind of fell out, wiggle it down like a skirt. And then put the leg loop around your neck. And it's going to stretch the back of the head. So it's like covering the full length of the ears, and as long as your neck and cervical spine feel happy, just lean back into it. I release my arms, and I just kind of hang and dangle, and it feels really great on the neck. Nice deep breath. All right, so hang out. When you're ready, reach up and grab for the leg loop. Let that come off. We're going to go back into our cocoon. Put it on your little stirrup. Okay. Take a pause. Oh, yeah. Make sure I burn it gently. If it feels good. Nice. Well, thank God we have two legs. So we'll have to do the other side. And I'll bring some more variations. The right leg is going to stay where it is. We're just going to go ahead and let the left foot come on top of the right, crossing the ankles, and release the left leg loop for now. Slowing it down, right? Blossom arms overhead. Get it underneath the armpits. The shoulders come out. And then our extra leg loop is going to go over our head and then just put both arms through like you're putting on a t-shirt. And then once it's gathered behind the upper back, you can use your chillaxing arms. Yeah. 
So I push down just gently into my feet to lift my hips. So that allows me to come into my back bend. It's okay if you just hang out in the swing, but this is a great supported back bend. And then maybe you prefer, yeah, and maybe you prefer to let the arms hang out to the sides. It's really fun to open up the heart big and wide. up and grab for the leg loop. Let's just do a few twists again. Let's get our left leg to come up towards the sky. Left leg. All right, and then we're going to twist. So twist between the leg loop and the swing. And let's see if you can let the right arm dangle towards the floor or go ahead and grab for the foot. Maybe the arch or maybe the outer edge. Wherever you are, let it feel good. Go ahead and bring that leg back up towards the sky, replace it, and then let's try for the right leg. So we can send the right leg up, and then over, and then we grab, left arm can be down towards the ground, you can roll all the way over, <laughs> infinite ways to play, there you go, beautiful. I'm just holding on for fun, but that arm could twist back too, it could be an inclined twist, not amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta find this sweet spot where we balance, right? All right, return the legs, crossing the ankles, and then get the swing up. Let's stretch the neck. The neck just loves this pose, right? So we cover the whole length of the ear and tuck our chin into our chest. And then you just lean back into it, sending a gentle stretch for the cervical spine. If anybody feels uncomfortable, with our neck, you can stay holding on to the leg loop. Let's see what feels good for today. Beautiful, guys. Okay, reach up and grab for that leg loop. Come on up to sit. We're gonna put the leg loops back on, but this time just keep them bunched at the ankles. We're gonna transition into our floating Buddha from here. A few more hip stretches, and we're gonna do another pigeon pose. We're gonna reach around, so our arms are out. We're gonna reach around and grab for the front edge of the swing. Are you guys okay over there? There's a lot of wiggling happening. Oh, it's just yeah. adjusting. <laughs> adjusting my skirt. Adjusting your skirt. So, <laughs> yes, reach for the front of the swing. There you go. As okay. high as you can, bring your legs wide, and see if you can pull yourself up, and then sit with the swing. Mm -hmm. Let it bunch up behind your back. Good job. Good transition. Oh, yeah. Okay. Front of the swing. There you go. Sweet. Smooth. Nice and easy. Okay. One more time. Windshield wipers. Okay. Ah, so these, this is our floating Buddha sequence. So I'm just going to do a few poses here. Yes, yes, behind the heart is like totally cooked <laughs> and done for today. So we're not going to stay for too long. We're going to come into our wide T and then we're going to bend the right foot in. So hug the foot towards you. You can hold on to the leg loop. You can hold on to the foot. Just kind of find your your creative edge with the hip stretch. Let's keep our hips heavy. What happens when we push our hips down towards the ground, right? We lift our chest. Yep, so wrap your arms around and grab for the leg loop. There you go, perfect. So it's kind of bunched up in, instead of hooking the heel. It's fine. Bunch it up. Yeah. Great. Okay, open up, T. Second side, left foot bends and pulls in. Go ahead and hold on to the leg loop with both hands, or if you want to go a little bit deeper, pull in here. Beautiful, guys. All right, let's go ahead and open it up, and then we're going to do our flying monkey sequence. We're going to push the bottoms of the feet together for swing, bada bada. So let's open the knees. You can actually help tractioning the knees open if that feels good for you today. Feet to 
glued together for this one, really important. You have to have puppy feet on the way to remember to get to that. And then we're going to reach up as high as we can on our leg loops, not the swing, but the leg loops, right? Yes, everyone did it. Good. Push the hips up and lean back. It's such a great stretch for the front of the neck. Wiggle a little bit from side to side to go deeper. And then what we're going to do is do bi bicep curls. This is our last active pose. Let's go ahead and do five bicep curls when you're ready. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back. Keep your hips pushing forward the whole time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back. Inhale, lift. Nice. Exhale, back. Inhale, lift. Really good, guys. All right. So stay up. <laughs> we're going to do... All right, one last of the last strengtheners. <laughs> so we're going to sink our hips down, keep holding on, and come through a wide straddle. So if you can, bicep curl up a few times here. They're really hard. Hold on to the leg loops, not the swing. Okay, really important detail. Always hold on to the leg loops. That's our stabilizers. Yep. Nice. After our wide straddle splits, let's relax. Come back, reach a lax in. I'm sorry. When I have the leg loops at the ankles, we call it reach a labor. My birds. Lean back into the heart. Open up. All right, let's try. So we just did a pigeon. Let's go ahead and do a quad stretch. And then we'll start to drop back into Shavasana. So if at any time you want to stay here and just hang out, hold on to the leg loops, please. Back row. <laughs> Always hold on to the leg loops until, like, Jesus calls with a note. So this is really important, right? Because what we're going to do is we're going to turn our right knee in and turn it over. Let's we'll see if it's possible. If it slides in, it's okay. Good. Ankle's better. And then if we want to extend, it's as far as we're going to go today. Yes, we have to hold on to the leg loops. Good. Now we're getting a big quad stretch. I know. It's like, oh, my God. Drop into it if you can. Should feel really good. Flex your foot so it doesn't pop off. There you go. All right, so this is how we transition. So we're going to bend the front knee, turn it over, come back through Vada. You might try to slide up. Just encourage it to stay on the ankle. And then left knee bends in. We have to hold on, right? So this is what pulls us up. Really nice. And then extend the front leg if it's available. Yeah. If not, just... We hang out in like a half pigeon. Okay. This is totally fine because the quad stretch is what we're aiming for. So as long as we're stretching something, we're in the right place. <laughs> if it feels good, keep going. That's our motto. Really nice, guys. So that's a big quad stretch. But I, we did the pigeon, so now we're doing the opposite way. So bend the front knee. Go ahead and turn it over nice and slow. Just slide into the chillaxin. Oh, see, now it feels like a rest pose, doesn't it? <laughs> so reach forward for the leg loops. Let's pull ourselves up. Let's go ahead and, and into our Shavasana. So for those trainees, you guys are welcome to come get in a swing so we can all do our relaxation together. I'm wondering if we can drop the lights down. So maybe Carrie can do that before. Right here over this way. Uh, oh, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, good. So the swing is underneath our bum. We make sure we're in the taco, right? And then we slide it down to our knees, push the leg loops back down. See, now we're pros. So it's always good to get a little teaser, right? All right, you guys did an amazing job. We made it to the finish line. So we're going to have about a 20-minute meditation where we can just really drop in and enjoy the sensation of being held and hugged and rocked and cradled. It's incredibly good for our nervous system and our immune system to just float and hang and feel that gentle squeeze on the surface of the skin. Spread the leg loops out so they are covering the arch of the foot if you feel like extending the legs. We're going to go through a series of leg stretches when we come out, but for now, just see if we can drop. Is there room for the hips to lower? and sink so that the belly softens. Let's do a gentle scan of the body. Is there space for the heart and the back to round and take on the shape of the swing? Is there room for the head to relax back and for the brain to soften into the cradling position? So we're 
rolling and harnessing the energy back into our core in our cocoon. If you feel like bending the knees and kind of pulling the feet closer in towards the swing, that's okay too. So you're kind of rolling up into a ball, or if you like the legs extended, just go ahead and keep the legs straight, and that's 100% okay too. Just feel yourself starting to drop in. Immediately release the breath. See if there's more room for your consciousness to breathe through you. Feel yourself starting to merge with the atmosphere, the sea of energy around you. Just let it feel good to relax. Let it feel good to be held. <coughs> to. So most of the time, we don't have the space to really integrate and absorb the experience that we have. So we lose 80% of the practice by rushing off or rushing out of it. So if we take a nice, long integration meditation at the end of our practice, we get so much benefit from giving ourselves that time. So part of the restorative nature of the swing it's just hanging, just being held and not completed. And make a special stretchy, thick sweatshirt material for its comfort, for its capacity to hold us. As children, we're often soothed by being rocked and cradled, and then as adults, we don't normally get that day-to-day -day experience. And it's very good for the emotional body, for our overall mental and emotional well-being. And it's also a wonderful way to take Shavasana and kind of get into the transformational process of the womb. Receive the nutrients and the nourishment and the rejuvenation that comes from going back into that space. Swinging and act as the divine mother, connecting us to the unclaimed, still giving us a taste of the heavens and that freedom.
Ramachandra Jaya Sivas.